Welcome Cancer, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Star Seed Oracle, Divine Directions and the Animal Tarot Deck. Okay, so let's start with Star Seed Oracle for you Cancer. Alrighty, have a little look-see here. One card for Cancer please. Oh, almost thought we had it then. We did not answer. One card for cancer. Trying to find the right card for you here. That's too many cards. It's really interesting. That's two cards. It's really interesting because I have this sense like of um, just with how the cards are going right now that it's almost like there's something that's hard to hold on to or it's something that you're trying to grasp and it's really hard to... Two cards, I only want one. I want to say it's hard to grasp but that it's um it's not, it's not quite right. Let me pick these cards up though. Yeah, it's like and there was only one card cancer, so I'm gonna use that one. But it's almost as though it's like a slip a slippery surface, I wanna say. Like walking on a slippery surface. So yeah. But anyway, let's have a look at this. Wow, that's a cool card. It says jump in jump in this is andromedan energy adventure say yes to change okay cancer let's have a look we're going to look at that at the end okay i'll just get this ready in the book so that we're ready to go ready to read it out at the end of the message for you number 82 here we go okay Jump in. Tell me more about this for Cancer, please. Tell me more about this. Two more cards for Cancer. Oh, too many cards for Cancer. What have we got here? One more card. One more card. There it is. Okay, so let's have a look here. So we've got music. Music. Express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. Music will lift your spirits. We also have home and we have weight. Okay. Mm, interesting when it's saying jump in and then we've got weight. Okay. So let's have a look. Music. feel like there's some sort of fear okay so music tell me more about this with jump in for cancer please maybe this will calm your nerves maybe music will help settle you maybe it's about learning an instrument you know maybe this is about you needing to jump into it let's have a look Tell me more about music for cancer, please. Okay. They all landed on the table. Yay! Okay, so. Cancer. Queen of Summer. Look at this. This is a new beginning. This is definitely a new beginning for you. Okay, and we have the four of summer a new beginning that i wonder what music has to do with it though I f okay okay this is the music within you it may not necessarily be about playing an instrument per se but it's the music within you that needs to come out it's your own tune your own tone that needs to be expressed here cancer Okay, we have the Princess of Spring, so this is definitely about you. 
um, I feel like learning something new um, that may not be right actually sorry well it is it is we have the queen of summer here right and this swan is gliding along here with the crown upon its head okay and I feel like for you cancer this is about you learning to wear the crown to get everything into balance for yourself okay so that you can go along because there's a transformation in your life and um, this transformation I feel is about you stepping in to your essence or your truth I suppose right so this is what is really important for you right now and the interesting thing on this card here is not only do we have the monarch butterfly but we also have a butterfly on top of the crown here and I feel like this is you stepping into this shining light that you are because at the end of the day you are a jewel that has yet to be discovered by you. It's about you understanding how you shine and walking along with that absolutely glistening for the world to see, okay? And this actually makes me, um, I'm sorry, I'm focusing now on the word glistening because it's, you drop the G and it's about listening. So this is about you listening to what is within you that is bursting to come out. That for some reason, cancer, you keep pushing down. So whatever the reason is for that is up to you to discover so that you can eliminate that as an excuse for you not stepping into your power here. Okay, we also have the wheel. And so this is time for a new beginning, okay? Because this is a number 10, and 10s represent endings. And always when there's an ending, there is a new beginning, okay? So for some of you, there's something that has come to an end that you can't get anything more out of. And it's time to look at what it is that you're going to... Um, invest your time and energy into to grow something new for yourself okay we also have the king of winter here this is this balancing of this crown again right gliding through the water and I feel cancer that this potentially for some of you is about you dealing with your emotions about whatever is going on here okay very important for you because um with the queen of summer she's gliding through the water here right she's on the surface of the water the whale is underneath the water here right so it's diving deep into these emotions and i just wonder if that it, it, it's about this balance of the emotions right knowing the time to glide over and knowing the time to dive deep And I feel like that's going to help you get a balance of this transition in your life. Okay? Because the tortoise here, the tortoise is coming out of the greenery. The tortoise knows when it's safe to do so. When it's safe to come out of its shell and when it needs to retreat. And I feel as though for you it's time to come out of your shell. Okay? And the fear that you have about that is something that may hold you back. But don't hold yourself back, okay? Because you don't want to get to 10 years' time going, oh, gosh, I wish I had done that. Why did I get in my own way? Yeah? We also have the Five of Autumn here. Yeah, and this is this battle, this internal battle for you here, okay? Um and, and this card talks about the negative side of things, okay, and getting weighed, and weighed down and bogged down by that. 
So make sure you're looking at the positive side. And every time you feel that negativity coming in, put it to one side and continue gliding like the swan on the surface of the water with your crown balancing upon your head. Okay, the next one we have here is home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. Okay, so this could very well be what this change is about here for you, right? So let's have a look. Tell me more about this. The cancer, please. You know, it's interesting because this could also, when you think of home, it can also be looking at the body because your soul during this lifetime is even though it's not inside the body it is um using the body as a vessel to get carry it through this lifetime so in that regard that could be something that you look at here um okay so tell me more about home cancer please anything else about home we've got two cards i don't know what that second card is that's fallen on the floor there Awesome. So let me pick this up, Kent. Okay, so we've got the five of summer here. And this is this dragonfly, which is all about change, inviting in new things into your life. It could also be a bit of a spiritual change as well, a transition in your life. Okay, this says, focus upon the fact that God loves you and always has the highest of intentions for you. A positive outlook makes it easier to recover from life's little difficulties so that you can move onward and upward. Perfect. Okay, I don't always get called to read out the cards, but that was necessary, especially after this card here coming up about the negative side of things, right? We also have the raccoon here, and this is renewal. Okay, I feel like these raccoons are coming out after being in hibernation, which makes sense to what we were saying before with the tortoise. Yeah, so this is um, about you, I love the butterfly, all of the butterfly here, look at this, this is so much of a transformation, we have the 10 and the 20 here, right, this is a huge change in your life, and so if this is about moving a home, some of you may not necessarily want to make that move, but treat it as an adventure, Okay, just like jump in, says jump in boots and all, or treat it like an adventure cancer because you know you don't know where this is going to lead you. And this, if you resist it, it's gonna make the transition a lot harder. And it seems as though it's going to happen anyway because this is part of your life journey and part of your life purpose. We have the Queen of Winter here, look at her sitting there balancing this crown upon her head again. Owning it, it's not a problem. It's not a problem wherever she is. She'll find her her branch to lie on and it's going to be sturdy and it's going to be strong. And she knows about herself. She knows who she is. She knows her truth. No question whatsoever, right? The king and the queen, they own their stuff, right? They cut out all the rubbish out of your life out of their life and I feel like this is what it's saying to you to cut all the rubbish out of your life and live in the truth of who you really are okay let your music play all right six of winter yeah look at this this is traveling away from something could even be a move overseas for some of you could be the case traveling away from something to new pastures here get curious like the cat right See the good side of things. Five of winter. <laughs> this is a battle going on between you and you. Could be with someone else, but I feel like this is more about you. Having to let go of the resistance. Which is, I know, it's easier said than done, right? It really is easier said than done. But I tell you what, once you do, once you drop that rope and stop fighting this change, it's going to be a lot easier once you accept that it's happening. 
and go with it, you won't be sailing against the current. Okay, we have weight here. Take time to think on the matter at hand. Don't be tempted to rush. Doesn't mean that you sit and wait for another 10 years though. But I suppose it's about not being impulsive. You know, especially if th this is something maybe that you're resisting. You know, to kind of go, okay, let me really think about this. Rather than just going, oh, I just want to get it over and done with. I'll just do it. And consider, consider what things look like for you. Consider that, okay, maybe if it's not what you want, what feels better than the other thing, at least a little bit for you. Tell me more about weight. The cancer. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, so the first two cards here are the two of spring. Definitely a decision that needs to be made here. A decision of... Um, which direction to go in, I feel. And, and sort of how you're going to travel that, okay? Will it be by sea? Will it be by air? Will it be on foot? How are you going to travel this journey, okay? Um, we also have the gazelle. And um, I was thinking about this card the other day, actually. So it's interesting it pops up. Um, you know, it's sort of like being the gazelle has this um, instinctual innate ability to be able to play dead when it's threatened and then spring to life at the smallest opportunity that it has to run and get itself to safety, okay? And I feel like um, it's important for you to be tapping in to your natural instincts right now to see, you know, with this weight, you know, you know, you're going to know when the best time to go is. So don't go too soon, is what this is saying. Okay, go at the time that is right for you. Make the decision. Sit on the decision and really feel it out. And then move when the time is right. And you'll know when that is because it's going to be hard, maybe, um, to kind of go, oh, how am I going to know? You will know. There won't be a question on your mind. If you're in doubt, step back and wait a little bit longer. Okay, we've got the Ace of Summer here. And this is an absolutely beautiful new beginning for you. And this is what is waiting for you. Okay, so try and bear this in mind when you are feeling like it's weighing you down. And I'm going to read this card to you here. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience for you. It may be the first blush of romantic love, the rebirth of a current relationship, or the awakening of spiritual gifts and insights. Yes, Cancer, yes. Okay, so the eight of autumn, this is you coming out of your cage and learning something new, getting curious, becoming inquisitive as to what it is that you can learn, what is out there for you to learn. You know, this may lead to new beginnings in your life that you never dreamed was possible, okay? And this is about you working with others, working hard with others to create what it is that you want to create for the greater good, not just for your life, but everyone else's around you, okay? So, that being said, let's jump in. Uh, I just had to. Sorry, Cancer, I had to. Jump in and have a look at what this card says here. Okay, so Andromedan Energy, Adventure, say yes to change. Andromeda is a spiral galaxy, the closest galaxy to the Milky Way. It's believed that the Andromedan star seeds are a group of beings who love their freedom. Very adaptable, they have a strong willingness and ability to change and go with the flow, to find calm in the chaos, to swim with the tides. This card is here to encourage you to do the same. Perfect. Perhaps you have a significant goal or opportunity ahead of you. If so, you've been guided to jump in. 
Don't wait for permission. Don't stall until you feel ready. Take a deep breath, a good old run up and jump right on in. Life blends for the courageous and the courageous is what you have been called to do. Sorry, what you have been called to be. You're already facing the right direction. The only thing left to do is leap. You'll figure out the details as you go along. Things may not always be smooth sailing. Life on earth rarely is. However, it's the rougher seas that teach us how to sail with glory. And once you know that, you can navigate any sea, ocean or storm. So true. The Andromedans want you to fall in love with the surfing waves of life, to seek more adventures, to embrace your own adaptability and to find a way to be the calm in the chaos. You didn't come to earth to be passive. You came to earth to truly live. Now, take a good run up and leap. How can you be more adventurous? Oh, this is a starseed soul inquiry, by the way. So this is something to ponder on over the next couple of weeks. How can you be more adventurous? How are you being called to jump right in, on in and leap? Right, Cancer, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you, bye-bye.